Alright, hi there. For our next lesson, we're going to be talking about subtracting integers. So last time we were doing adding integers. And when we looked at adding integers, we were talking about if the sign was the same, we found the sum, and we kept the sign the same. But if the sign was different, we would find the difference, and we would keep the bigger sign. And what we meant by bigger was the greater absolute value. Okay? This is still going to apply to today's lesson, but first we have to work with subtracting integers. And the way we do that is when we subtract an integer, we're going to essentially add its opposite. And that means instead of thinking about it as a subtraction problem, we're going to convert the subtraction problem into adding a negative number, or adding the opposite of what that number actually is. So in the first example here, you can see we have 6 minus 9. And what they say is, well, let's, instead of thinking about it as 6 minus 9, Let's add the opposite of a minus 9, add the opposite of a positive 9, and make it a minus 9, or a negative 9 as an integer. And then from that point, we would go back to the previous lesson to say, now the signs are different, we'll find the difference, 9 minus 6, and keep the sign with a greater absolute value, in this case, the negative 9. Okay? We can do the same thing here when we have a negative 10 minus a minus. Minus minus, you simply could think of it as a plus plus if you like, because we're going to add the opposite. So we're going to turn that from minus into addition, and instead of a negative 12 into positive 12. At this point, you're going to have signs that are different, so you find the difference again. 12 minus 10 is 2, and the one with the greater absolute value in this case here is the positive one, so it stays a positive 2, which you can see there. Where it gets a little more complicated is when you have to then take in values here, unknown values for like A and B, and plug some variables into the equations, making sure you plug them in with the right positive or negative numbers there, and replace them appropriately. Okay, let me show you a couple more examples here before you try this on your own. So first one, we have 7 minus 9. So again, instead of writing 7 minus 9, we're going to add the opposite. And the setup is critical. Once your setup is right, then you're going to be able to go back to the prior lesson and say, well, now the signs are different, so I find the difference and keep the sign related to the greater absolute value. So 9 minus 7 is 2. And which one has a greater absolute value? In this case here, that's going to be the negative 9. So our answer stays as the negative 2. For the second one, we're going to add the opposite. So when they're negative, so when we subtract a negative 6, we just think of it as plus plus. And now I'm back to yesterday's lesson. So we have a positive 20, positive 6. The signs are the same. So I find the sum, and I keep the sign the same. So we keep it as a positive 26. Number 3, we have a negative 10. And instead of saying subtract 4, we're going to add the opposite. So when adding the opposite, now I can look and see I have two integers that are both negative, which means the signs are the same. So I'm going to find the sum. 10 plus 4 is 14, and keep the sign the same. It was a negative and a negative, so it stays a negative 14. This one's a great one here because you're starting with 0. So I'm going to take 0, and I'm going to do the opposite. I'm going to still do add a negative 12. In this case here, the signs are different, so I find the difference. 12 minus 0 is 12, and the one with the greater absolute value is going to be the negative, so I have a negative 12 for my solution. Now let's skip down and do one over here. If I have a negative 20 and subtracting a minus 5, I'm going to add the opposite. Now my signs become different, so I find the difference. So 20 minus 5 is 15. And the greater absolute value is going to be the negative one, so it stays a negative 15. I can do the same with this one. I can add the opposite. So now I'm going to find the difference because I have a negative and a positive. So 8 minus 6 is 2. And the greater absolute value is going to be the negative 8. So we have a negative 2 as our solution. And that's kind of the idea of what you're doing with most of those problems today when you do your homework steps. When you have to do evaluate an expression, what you're going to do is you're going to take the variables, values that are given here, and plug them into the equation. So let's take the first one here. 
m is negative two, so I'm gonna rewrite it as negative two minus six, and now I'm back to the same kind of problem I just did. That becomes add the opposite, so my signs are the same. I find the sum, and I keep the sign the same. For p, if p was equal to five, I can drop a p right there. So I have five minus a minus eight. I'm gonna add the opposite. Signs are the same, so I find the sum and keep the sign the same. And this one's a great one. I have a negative two is what m is. I'm still subtracting, don't forget that right there. And n is 10, so I'm gonna put a 10 right there. So now I'm going to add the opposite. In this case, my signs are the same, so I'll find the sum, which is 12, and keep the sign the same. So you're really going back to yesterday's lesson in terms of how you finish up the problems, but it's important that you're thinking about, instead of thinking about subtraction, we're talking about adding the opposite, adding the opposite, and that's the key takeaway today. So pause there, you're gonna work on the odd numbers today for your homework, and then you can check the solutions in just a minute after you work on them. All right, let's work through a few of these together just to see if you got them, just kind of spot check. So number one, we're going to add the opposite. Okay, I'm gonna zoom a little more so I can get a little bit bigger. Okay, so add the opposite means 15 plus and minus seven. The signs are different, so I'm gonna find the difference. 15 minus seven is going to be eight, and the greater absolute value is the 15, so we keep it as a positive eight. For number three, we're gonna add the opposite, and now what you can see is my signs are the same. So I find the sum, eight plus nine is 17, and I keep this sign the same as a negative 17. Number five, I'm gonna add the opposite. Now again, my signs are the same. So I find the sum, 18 plus seven is 25, and I keep the sign the same. Number seven add the opposite, but now my signs are different, so I need to find the difference. So I'll do 18 minus 14 to give me a four, and which one has a greater absolute value? Positive 18 or negative 14? We would say positive 18 does, so it stays a positive number there. Number nine, oh, sorry, I cut that off there a little bit. I was zoomed in so much, apologize. Number nine, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna add the opposite. And in doing that, we see the signs are the same. So we find the sum, which is 30, and we keep the sign the same, so it's positive. And number 11, we're gonna add the opposite. So now we have a difference, uh, and the positive and negative, so we find the difference, 19 minus 12, which is seven. And the greater absolute value is gonna be the negative 19, so we're gonna keep the sign with that one as a negative seven for my solution there. After that, you're gonna evaluate for the given variable values of D, F, and G. In this case here, D was equal to negative four, so we rewrite that as negative four minus 10, and we're gonna now add the opposite. The signs are the same, so we find the sum, which is 14, and then we keep this sign the same, which is negative 14 right there. On the next one, what we wanna do is we're gonna put D here, which is negative four. Don't forget to keep the subtraction sign there before you plug, plug in G, and G is 11. At this point, we will add the opposite, and because the signs are the same, we'll find the sum, which is equal to 15, 15, and we'll keep the sign the same just like that. All right, you can do the same thing for D, F and G, so D becomes negative four minus a negative seven minus 11. So make sure you have that set up there properly. So this becomes negative four plus seven. And this becomes add a negative 11. So from this point, we would just go left to right and we have here different signs, so we find the difference, seven minus four is three, and the greater absolute value is positive, so we keep it positive, and then we're gonna add to that negative 11. So again, the signs here are different, so we find the difference, which is 11 minus eight is three, 
and the greater absolute value is going to be the negative 11, so it stays a negative 8 right there. Okay, not sure how far you go today. Number 5 says odd, so you're going to go down further, which means there's some more down here. Okay, so let's take a look at a couple of these real quick. So let's look at number 23 because we have some brackets, which those are different. So when we have brackets, it's a great problem to look at. We didn't mention this in our warm-up video. You need to do what is inside the brackets before you do what's outside the brackets. So that means, in this case, so when I look here at what's in the parentheses, I'm going to start with this section here. So I have 8 plus a negative 16. So in this case, the signs are different. I'll find the difference, which is 16 minus 8 for 8, but the greater absolute value is the negative one. So when I rewrite this, I now actually have negative 10. I'm going to keep this part, negative 10 minus whatever I just got, which was a, we said it was a negative 8 minus a negative 8. Okay. So that part here is a negative 8, so I have to work with that first before I can work with a negative 10. Now I can add the opposite. The signs are different, I find the difference. So when I find that difference, it's 10 minus 8, which is equal to 2, and the one with the greater absolute value is going to be the negative 10, so we have negative 2 as a solution. Let's do one more down here, number 5, it's 27. So the first thing I want to do is what's inside of these parentheses, right? So I'm going to do that first. So inside of here, I have a negative and a negative, and I'm going to add them. So I'm going to find the sum and keep this sign the same. 15 plus 7 is 22. Keep that as a negative there. I'm still subtracting. Now let's do what's inside of here. So what's inside of here is add a negative. So in this add a negative, the signs are the same. So I find the sum, and I keep the sign the same. And I could put in parentheses right there. So next, when I add it here, what I want to do is add the opposite. Add the opposite, add the opposite. And what I can see is now I have a difference, 22 minus 19, which is going to be equal to 3. And the greater absolute value is a negative. And we're going to stop right there, because this airport is out of control. Have a good day. See you later.